What's up, dudes and dudettes? It's your man, Evan B., broadcasting live from the butt locker. And, uh, I mean, I was laying in bed here, and I was thinking about the things I was going to say as far as a, um, a review for Rob's movie, um, the Thunderdome documentary. And I figured what I would do is I would just go ahead and start recording, like, my thoughts on it. Um, I've got a terrible memory, and so... Um, I've been thinking about this all week and, um, trying to think of like, what is it that I could say or do to like, to do justice to not only like him asking me to, to do the review, um, but also to just to do justice to this, this thing that he created. And, um, and it just kind of suddenly dawned on me that like, I think what's, what would be most important or what would be best for me to do is just, um, is just kind of talk about how it affected me and, um, like what, what, it, what it's about and what, what I, how I perceived the movie. Um, so I, I'm just going to do that. Um, you know, um, I think Rob is an interesting guy and, and what his documentary has done, one, one of the things that his documentary has done, I think, is it has given like kind of a rare peek into the mind of a mad scientist. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, Rob is making a movie about himself and about this thing that he's created and while that could be like like it could flirt with being like kind of self-masturbatory or um, um, like self-aggrandizing or, or it's done in this in such a humble almost like self-depreciating kind of way um, that everything about it is just super endearing. You know, he tells the story of his plane crash um, when he was filming a document, another documentary in Africa and the effect that that had on him and his ability to like to deal with other people, his ability to like deal with the own chaos inside his own head. And... Um, it, it's amazing because like in a lot of ways this movie has like everything that I like in a movie uh, um, there's um, I, there's action and adventure um, there's a glimpse into the private world of a really interesting group you know I think about like like some of my favorite films like um, in, in outside of Star Wars but like like the Shawshank Redemption or, uh, um, I love Boondock Saints. I love, um, Saving Private Ryan. I love, um, I love Snatch. I, I like films that have this, like, this peak at these little, like, worlds that are all, like, kind of self-encompassing and have, like, interesting characters and interesting language and, um, is a little bit different from the norm, you know, these, these like subcultures that kind of operate, uh, you know, these groups of people that count on one another and then have these close relationships and this history together. Um, but it's like set aside from the rest of society or, or the normal, the way we normally look at the way that people interact. And, and like Rob's Thunderdome really does that. It gives us a glimpse into, this really tight knit nerfing community in Missouri. Um, and, and, and then there's like lots of other, like there's lots of other important things that are talked about in the movie. Um, like noticing when your friends in trouble, um, you know, the hard word suicide that, um, Unfortunately, like a lot of us have been touched by, um, I, I, I guess there was parts of, parts of that picture, parts of the documentary where suicide is discussed that it really struck home with me. Um, I've been affected 
um, I, I should say like, woe is me, I've been affected, but I've lost a couple friends to suicide, um, and, and two very close friends, um, in as many years when I was in my mid twenties, um, that had a profound effect on me. And, um, in both cases, there's that long-term ramification on the survivors of that, that friend we lose that, um, that I don't think a lot of people talk about, you know, um, suicide's one of those things that just kind of gets brushed brushed under the carpet in, in our society, um, because it's really uncomfortable and it's really, um, I don't know. You have to be really in touch with your feelings, um, to discuss it, I think, in an honest and open way. And, um, unfortunately, like, because we live in a, we live in a world that people don't take care of their mental health, um, for fear of, the stigmas attached to them. Um, you know, I often say like, if people treated their mental health, like we do our physical health, the, the world would be a far better place and we'd all get along a lot better. Um, people walk around just sick, um, whether that's depression, whether that's addiction, whether that's, um, I mean, a variety of mental health issues, uh, organic and, and, environmental and, um, people walk around untreated because they're afraid to talk about it. And, and this movie talks about some pretty heavy mental health issues, um, in an open and honest way. And I think that that's really rare and it's really encouraging, um, for those of us who've been through hard times when it comes to mental health. Um, those of us are, who are personally affected by things like depression, things like PTSD, um, uh, which are, are, are things that I, um, both that I've been, um, diagnosed with by counselors. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a recovering alcoholic. And so to see, um, other people kind of in mental health recovery, um, or at least discussing mental health, um, I don't know, I think is a huge deal. I think it's super helpful. Um, and then the other things about the movies, you, you know, you know, it's got, like I was saying, it's got all the things I want in a movie. There's action adventure. There's a heavy message. There's some romance. There's, um, a really awesome scene where, um, a fella proposes to his girlfriend and, and I remember, I like that part in particular, just smiling, um, just, you know, there's this like this guy proposing to his girl and they both are laughing and kissy and, and then there's this whole team of nerfers behind them that are like cheering and, um, and rooting them on and, um, it was really, really cool. Um, you know, I thought about in a lot of ways, like how, how do I do this? How do I talk about this without like giving away too much of the movie because I, I really do think you should see it. And, and I don't, you know, my, my videos are so lo-fi. I don't have like clips of his movie to show you, or, um, I wouldn't even know how to begin. I thought about setting up my laptop and, you know, pausing and starting it to show clips of it. And I just feel like that would be kind of cheesy. And, um, I just gotta say, like, I, I love what Rob is doing. I, I love his mission. Um, I, I love that he spreads the message that you have the ability as an individual to change your little corner of the world and how doing that changes the world as a whole. Um, that everyone can feel included in this, um, in this silly little hobby where we play with toys and, and, and shoot pew pew at each other. Um, we can have like a grander worldview and a grander impact on one another and, and we can change lives and save lives. And, um, that's an amazing thing. Um, I know that 
I'm really proud and I'm really honored to be considered part of this community and to have been welcomed into this community with such open arms and such uh, encouragement and support. And what Rob's done with this picture is send out a skull with crossed big bad bows bat signal into the sky to invite everyone to this hobby and to be welcomed to this little thing that we all have that we love and and um now in the future like when somebody when you're when you when you're hanging around with your non-nerfing friends or your your um your girlfriends wondering why you're spending so much time scouring thrift stores or playing with guns in the park with your friends like you have this thing you can show them this like tangible Rob, Rob's made it Rob's made it easy to explain why it is we do what we do um at least for me Rob's made it easy for me to explain uh why it is I do what I do um next time my wife says wow man you spent too much money on nerf blasters this week like I can get, I can show her that movie and remind her that um, I know on the surface this seems like we're just playing with toys, but it it's so much bigger than that, and um, and I'm really grateful that we all have it, and uh, so thank you, Rob, for your movie, um, thank you, NIC, for your um, participation in the making of his picture, and. Um, if you have an opportunity um, to purchase a copy, I highly recommend it. Um, I know that I definitely will, uh, even though I've already had a chance to see it. So I can uh, I can show it off to other people and say, here's this thing my friend made. Um, I'm proud of you guys. Um, I'm proud of you, Rob. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Evan B. Um, saying good night and uh, much love. Peace and